Mike Newman here at Impact Fitness and Bradley on Broadway. If you guys come to town to watch the Chicago Bears practice in the training camp this summer, Impact Fitness is the place to train and get your workout in on. So I wanted to give a little shout out to my clients. I know a lot of you guys have hard time. Uh, you have a really hard time sticking to the plan outside of the gym. Inside of the gym, it's really easy for everybody to come to the gym and just give it all they got. I mean, anybody can come to the gym and work out hard. It's been said many times that it's what you do outside of the gym that makes the biggest difference. I mean, all of us can come to the gym and just put forth the most amount of effort we possibly can. Whether we push ourselves or I push, uh, we'll get that done. But why is it that the scale just doesn't budge? Well, and a lot of you have heard me say this before. I, I think it's because a lot of you have not really made that true, true decision to really lose weight. I mean, a lot of you would like to lose weight. Who wouldn't? Who wouldn't want to lose weight? Who, who doesn't want to lose 20 pounds here and there? Some want to lose more. Some just want to lose a few pounds. But really, who would not like to lose 20 pounds? We'd all like to. Okay, but who's willing to do what it takes outside of the gym? Now, I've said before also that if you make up your mind to join a gym to lose the weight, but then you work out that day and then later on that night you go to Monocle's Pizza, well, really... Maybe you didn't make that true decision because if you did make that true decision, something like going out for pizza would be something that you would try to avoid as much as possible. Nonetheless, you get the drift. The video is not about this. The video is about a story about a female client that I trained. And I'll tell you what, I've been personal training nine years full time. Okay, I've trained, I bet you I've trained close to a thousand personal training one-on-one -on -one clients uh, over my time right around there and I've never trained somebody with this amount of discipline. I've never seen anybody work this hard mentally uh, to, to get through this and nonetheless you got great results so check it out. Had a client, 59 years old this lady is and she comes, she comes to me thinking her metabolism is shot because she's been told that once you're past the age of 25 her metabolism slows down. Well that's true but there's, there's ways to speed it up. So to make a long story short I had a weight loss competition a couple of years ago. I ended up having about 15 to 18 people sign up for this thing. Uh, three of those people lost over 42 pounds. And uh, this woman was one of my 15 to 18 clients that were in that particular weight loss competition. This is a 12 week competition to see who could lose the most amount of weight and the most amount of body fat. Okay, now, so we're like three weeks into this program. Okay, she's going really good. She's got her daughter in with her. They're all both working out three to four times a week, not missing a beat, eating clean. And she's uh, losing about 10 pounds in the first three weeks or so. She goes to work the next day, okay, gets off at 4.30, goes home. There was no school that day. The grandkid was over during the day. The grandkid was like 10 years old. I'm not sure how old the kid was, but nonetheless, he started running the bathtub water upstairs, right? Yeah, this kid turns on the bathtub water upstairs about noon or so. So the bathtub water is going for like four and a half hours. My girl Claudia Hertz is her name. Claudia Hertz uh, works at Riverside. She comes home at 4.30. Her entire upstairs is flooded. In fact, the ceiling's already dropping down to the floor. So Claudia comes home at 4.30 to a flooded house. Okay, now, she's got a workout appointment with me at 5.30. She comes home and sees a flooded house at 4.30. Has to work out with me in an hour. Now, most people wouldn't even think about me. They wouldn't even think to call me and cancel. Most people would just straight up skip the workout because a flooded house, yeah, that's something that 10,000 people are going to, you know, pretty much skip their workouts for. But not Claudia Hertz. Claudia got in there at 4.30, pretty much threw her arms up and said, oh, well, I got to go to the gym and train. Now, that's the kind of determination I'm talking about. When you're willing, okay, to overcome all obstacles to get that workout done, that's the kind of dedication it's going to take because most people can't even go to a dentist appointment and work out in the same day. Claudia's house flooded and she went to the gym an hour later. So I mean that's real and that's not that's just the beginning of the story. After that she went on to live in a hotel for two months. She lived in a hotel with her family for two months. Now she's in this biggest loser competition trying to lose over 40 pounds. Okay. Now if she goes out to eat at restaurants every single night which would be more convenient it would be really hard to lose that 40 pounds in that short amount of time. Now her family's going out to Lone Star Steakhouse, eating good food, going to Oliver's, going to Brickstone, eating the best food in town. Claudia sticks to her diet, goes to the grocery store, gets her own food, cooks her food at the hotel. While her family goes out and eats at a restaurant, she stayed in the hotel room and stuck to her diet. It had been much more convenient to go out. It had been easier to go out. People go out to eat because it's simply easier 
to go out and eat. But Claudia knew she wanted to lose that 40 pounds. She made her mind up that she wanted to lose 40 pounds, and she was willing to do anything it took to lose 40 pounds. Sure, she could have went and ate with her family. Now, she wouldn't have lost the 40 pounds in 12 weeks. She might have lost maybe six, seven, eight pounds in 12 weeks. But, you know, she would have still got to go out to eat, but she was one to, and then she did go out with her family maybe once, twice a month, something like that. She didn't skip every single time. But the point is, okay, she was willing to take whatever life threw at her, okay, and work her workout routine around it, her meals around it. And that's why Claudia Hertz won my 2010 Biggest Loser Weight Loss Competition. She ended up losing 42 pounds and 11.5% body fat, okay, within 12 weeks. Second place, Mike McHugh won 11. He, he was right behind him. Mike McHugh lost 42 pounds, uh, but he lost 11% body fat. So Claudia just barely won that competition, but it was because of her dedication and her determination outside of the gym that made her lose that 42 pounds. So there's an, and she's 59 years old, she spent her metabolism up, and what I forgot the weight she got down to, but whatever weight it was, it was her first time down to that weight since she was 29 years old. Okay, so she was at her all time low since she was 29. So to take away from this video here, the bottom line is, you all know to, uh, to train hard and to eat right. You all pretty much know what to do. And I can always give you better ideas. If you're not quite sure what to do, look me up at Impact Fitness on Broadway and Bradley. Phone number is 815-932-3177. Get a hold of me. Um, you know, but there's there's always ways you can overcome those obstacles to get it done. So take Claudia as an example and, uh, you know, get to the gym and make yourself a story. So until next time, I'm Mike Newman. I'm an Impact Fitness. Look me up on Facebook. Last name is N-E-U-M-A-N-N. -N. Okay, people usually spell that one wrong. Until next time, thanks for listening.